So how did a neighbourly dispute inspire one of the most famous villains of recent popular culture? This is number two Willow Road, the family home of Trellick architect Erno Goldfinger, built in the 1930s in Hampstead by him, to the dismay of Bond creator Ian Fleming, who lived nearby. Goldfinger as villain was cemented in Fleming's mind and became part of Trellick folklore. Uh, Goldfinger uh, applied for planning permission in Hampstead and uh, uh, Ian Fleming and a few neighbours opposed it and lost miserably in court and it infuriated Ian Fleming and hence the Goldfinger story. And while his old neighbours weren't fans, today's are more charitable. He was uh, one of the pioneers of building uh, uh, social housing uh, uh, vertically um, and Trellick was one of the first uh, high-rise buildings to be made uh, from poured concrete which is uh, called brutalism and um, so when we found the space empty uh, we, we were immediately like uh, it's got to be called Goldfinger. And with a renewed focus on fire safety in tower blocks, residents say his designs have stood the test of time. When we moved here, we had books about Trellick and how it was built and about, you know, Goldfinger and stuff like that. So, you know, as far as the history and the architecture and the building itself, you know, I, I feel amazingly safe in it. Lots of people don't like brutalism, so lots of people don't actually like Trellick Tower, even though it's so iconic. But... I love it for what it is. This heart is cold. He may have been the inspiration for one of the greatest villains, but for many, his work remains heroic. Dan Friedman, BBC London News.